cheated, lied to, or tricked, she's tackling every opportunity to make something that went wrong right. Better Call Bacon is on your side. Customers of Cox Pools of the Gulf Coast paid tens of thousands of dollars to get pools put in, but say they never got what they paid for. Already in hot water with Hillsborough County officials, customers say Cox Pools is now unresponsive, leaving them high and dry. So they knew they'd better call banking. Jen Keith, I first told you about Cox Pools' trouble in February. Back then, the owner promised me that she would finish 50 pools in Hillsborough County, but I've learned she didn't follow through with all of them, and now the company's phone numbers are disconnected, the website is down, and the remaining customers are desperate. Esther Hawkins says Cox Pools of the Gulf Coast started work on her backyard pool in March 2021, and workers stopped showing up nearly a year ago. This has been a horror to live with an unfinished pool that's paid for and not being finished. Esther and her husband are left with this green gunk, abandoned materials, and a big bill on their $59,000 loan. All of the numbers were, are now deleted, emails, nothing, they're returned no communication whatsoever with Cox Pools. In February, citing numerous life safety issues, Hillsborough County suspended permitting privileges for Cox Pools for a year and told the company to finish work on its 50 unfinished jobs, jobs like these. So we now have a large debt for something that is completely unusable and is a hazard. And I feel like I'm gonna be stuck like this. At the time, Cox Pools owner Hillary Bello refused to go on camera but told me she would finish every pool. Now, seven months later, some customers tell me she's ghosting them. Her phone number is disconnected. Her website is gone. So I took my investigation on the road, driving to her home in Lakewood Ranch, tracking her down to this gated community. Esther Hawkins is hoping this story sends a clear message to Bello about her broken promises. Do you feel robbed? Extremely robbed, disappointed. They have no integrity, and we just feel like this has been a monstrosity to look at this, to have this in our backyard instead of swimming in the pool that was promised to us. Hillsborough County officials tell me Cox Pools closed 26 permits since my February story. 12 were taken over by new contractors, and the company still has 14 that remain open. Some of the customers tell me that they ended up paying tens of thousands of dollars more to finish pools, while others tell me that they cannot finish their pools because they just don't have any extra cash. So what are authorities doing about this? I mean, is this company's license still any good? Well, the owner, Hillary Bello, had a qualifier for the company, and that means a general contractor, Scott Hauser, was responsible for the work. His license was ironically expired yesterday. Meanwhile, the attorney general's office, they tell me that they have 23 complaints from customers, and I've also heard that the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office has received some complaints and also state officials, licensing officials. So there is an investigation, and we're going to keep on it. You have to think at some point it's just criminal. What? what has happened to these people. That's so, what some uh, of these customers are wondering. More to come on this. Thank you, Shannon. If you have a problem that needs call, uh, solving, you can call her. That's Better Call Bankin, the number 1855 Bankin, or you can reach her on Facebook at WFLA Shannon.